that's some change, Chef. You tell me. I have no. I, I have no idea. It doesn't say anything. It just says Burlington Mall. <laughs> my fellow gig workers and side hustle champions. Your one and only Mad Dasher is back again on a dash. It is Thursday, the last dash of the week because Fridays, as you know, I go to a movie every single weekend with my girlfriend. This weekend, it's gonna be the one with uh, Josh Hartnett. Uh, I think that's the guy's name. Uh, the movie is M. Night Shyamalan's Trap which actually looks pretty cool, pretty excited to see it. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to see it in the X Plus because Deadpool is still gonna be in all of, you know, the X Plus showings, probably for the next couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so, uh, kind of an exciting news for me. I did get an uh, offer to do a collaboration uh, with a company. I'm not gonna say the company name yet because I will be doing an unboxing, a install, and a review for them. Uh, it is a device for the car, so it's kind of exciting. I'm just excited that I get to do my first collaboration uh, for this channel. So as soon as I fill out the form and get sent the, uh, the device, then I'll make a video for it and show you guys what it is. I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, it was the end of the month, uh, the last couple of days, so DoorDash has kind of been like, <laughs> you know, so uh, hopefully, considering it's August 1st, uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to see some bangers because now everybody has paid their rent. Or maybe not yet, maybe they haven't paid rent yet and they're late and we're still not gonna get bangers, I don't know. Also, August 1st is National Girlfriend Day. So I do wanna give a quick shout out to my beautiful, absolutely beautiful soul of a human being, Lauren. I love you so much. I'm so happy that you're in my life. Happy National Girlfriend Day. Uh, anyway, what do you say? I, I think it's time to make some money. It's a beautiful 88 degrees. I didn't even realize it's 88 degrees, but it is beautiful out. And I'm in the mood to make some money. I don't know about you, but I always like making money. So what do you say? Let's go make some money, huh? And unfortunately, I did not take the first order. I, you know I like taking the first order for the juju, but this was the first order and, and I, I just can't do that. It's rush hour traffic that's putting me on the highway. That, uh, that order would take me an hour. By the time I picked it up, brought it there, came back, because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get any orders on the way back from there. Um, but the second order I got is a certified banger. It seems like I'm getting a lot of feng shui orders recently, which normally is not typical. I, I don't normally get feng shui, but I think I've gotten a feng shui order every single day this week so far. I'm loving this order. It's a two picker upper, but I get two picker uppers from uh, Uber Eats all the time, and it really doesn't take that long, in all honesty. So uh, let's go over to feng shui. <laughs> Picking up both of them, dropping both of them off, 23 minutes uh, for 16 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I just, on my way to Shake Shack, Uber Eats decides to give me a 1754 for three miles. I swear, sometimes Uber Eats waits until I get a DoorDash order and they're like, <laughs> here's a better one, just to rub it in. Uh, I had already picked up the first order though. Like I, I couldn't like, it doesn't matter. I mean like $16 to $17 is really not a big deal. Really wasn't that big of a difference anyway, but I just think it's funny that it, it happens like that. It happened like that yesterday too. It's a good start to the day though. Let's keep this momentum. I hope we keep DoorDash. I'm liking what you're putting out there, son. I, let's, let's get some more of that, huh? Give me some more. Daddy wants some more. 
All right, so I matched on this uh, Uber Eats order, and all it says is Burlington Mall. Oh God, I, 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 I sometimes I get trigger happy and I just hit the button because I'm like, ooh, 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 money. Uh, but yeah, Burlington Mall is not a restaurant. Like, you know how many stores and restaurants are in the Burlington Mall? I'm hoping once I get to the mall, it will like eventually tell me what it is. Like I tried hitting the the order and I tried hitting like the little three dot three lines or whatever and it still just says Burlington Mall. Ugh, this better, this better, this, I don't even know what to say. We'll see what happens. Stay on the line and we'll connect you to the next available team member. Two hours later. Welcome to Park Bar. Thank you, sir. This is Josh. How can I help? Yeah, hi. The order that I'm currently on just says the Burlington Mall. It doesn't say what restaurant it is. I see. So I understand that you're having trouble right now on finding the brick application or the store. And no worries to that. You've got me now on the line and I would be glad to help. But before that, I need to pull up your account first. I have your full name and your date of birth, please. Perfect. Thank you so much for verifying your account. So let me just go ahead first and pull up the said order here. Um, can you please confirm me the name of the customer? Uh. Was that from Shane Chef? You tell me. I have no. I, I have no idea. It doesn't say anything. It just says Burlington Mall. I see. If it's so Shake Shack, I'll go over to. I'll go over to Shake Shack if that's what it says. Alright, hold on, because I can see you're asking that you have two ongoing orders, but couldn't you see any name of the customer on your app? Yeah. Alright, let me just try to check them further. Okay. Well, actually for the order of, and it's also from Burlington, so let me just try to check the other order here. Actually, it's for two orders from Burlington Mall, but um, I'm currently pulling up the order here from Shake Shop. Let me see if that's the order. Okay, because I haven't done any other orders, so <laughs> this is the first yeah. order that I'm on. Here? Huh? Well, actually, what I can see here is you have two orders from Burlington Mall for what? Uh, from the store. What yeah, it's it's one have. it's one batched order. I, I know I have to pick up two. I just need to confirm that that's the location. Are they both from Shake Shack? No. Again, the first order was from Wendy's, and the second order was from Shake Shack. So the order okay. is that you should pick it up at Shake Shack. Okay, and then the second one is? From Wendy's. From Wendy's? Okay. Okay, thank you. That's all, all I right. needed. Welcome. And if I come back, will there be anything else that I can help? Nope. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You're welcome, and I'm glad that I was able to disastrous order oh my that should have been so easy and then both of the people had like terrible driveways too at least on my way to dropping those off I got this order from uh, Uber Eats which is a son of a banger so <laughs> let's go over to sticky rice Additional zero miles, but an additional seven minutes. 
I guess they mean like an additional seven minutes because uh, seven minutes to pick up the order. Uh, but either way, man, this is like, I don't know how much the first one is. I think the first one's like 22 bucks or something like that. Uh, oh, I think I just took the wrong, ex the wrong way, whatever. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> after this though, I have to start doing door dashes because I'm a little afraid that when Saturday hits, I'm, it might go down like 30 orders because I did so many on the, uh, the like the four Saturdays ago. So after this, only DoorDash. We're making enough money from Uber. Oh, and to give context, I think we're at like 122 or something like that for orders in the last 30 days. So if it did go down like, cause like, one of those Saturdays, I know I did like a ton, a ton. I think a month ago, that's when I was trying to get platinum. So I might've been doing like 20 plus orders in one day cause I was only doing DoorDash. So t it might go down like 20 something orders on Saturday. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose platinum and I keep keep uh, platinum for that Saturday cause I want to do like uh, an accept all orders challenge on Saturday. So fingers crossed. Alright, alright, I know what you're thinking, I picked up another Uber Eats order. Uh, but the thing is, Uber Eats loves to bring me to Medford. I hate, I hate dashing in Medford. I hate dashing in Medford. So I needed to go back to the zone anyway. And like literally as soon as I dropped off that order, Uber Eats is like, oh, here's an order going back to Winchester, which is literally right next to uh, the zone that I want to be dashing in. So yeah, I took it. I didn't want to risk turning on DoorDash and then like, not getting an order. So as soon as we get back to the zone, then we're gonna turn, turn DoorDash back on. Promise, promise. Oh, and, and I'm actually kind of hoping for a hidden tip on this one. This order is huge. <laughs> it's a lot of food. And usually Uber Eats gives a hidden tip, so we'll find out. We're doing pretty good though. After dropping this off, we're, we're gonna be just under the two hour mark, and I think I'm at like 59 without hidden tips. Without hidden tips. If there's any other hidden tips, ooh, bye. <laughs> lights on that person's driveway was like a mountain and I couldn't even see the numbers on their doors they had like the most dangerous steps leading up to their house after going up a mountain of a driveway oh my god dude they didn't even even when like I was like making noise outside their door they didn't decide to like turn on their they were literally watching TV right next to the door right next to the door. Come on, come on people. At least I got a door dash in. I am worried that they're gonna take that the platinum away from me on Saturday and I'm gonna have to grind. It, it wouldn't be too bad. I might have to grind like maybe five orders or something to get platinum back, but that means I'd have to schedule <laughs> and I'm trying to start at like five in the morning. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it's 8.55. Could either call it a night or get a couple more DoorDash orders. I'll give it like five minutes or so once I get back to the zone to see if it's gonna give me some orders. If not, I'll call it early at nine o'clock. So we'll, we'll see, we'll find out. Well, DoorDash didn't give me anything, but Uber Eats decides to give me a certified banger when I got back here. <laughs> 10 for two? 
Let's go. Let's go. tips on that one order I was talking about and unfortunately not um, but that's okay uh, I we're not getting like the biggest orders in the world but if you grind it out man if you just like go non-stop and you multi app you can make some money I, th I think we got close to $30 an hour I'm not sure it's probably like 25 26 or whatever but uh, not a bad night I hope you guys made a lot of money I hope you're having a good night and I'll catch you in the next one Hey Dasher, out!